Uh, let's see. AT&T has shut down its first Google Immersive Stream project. AT&T has shut down. It's it's weird how they say it like that. Like they just got they just took out a game and uh, why did they do that? The AT&T has shut down its first Google Immersive Stream project. It's weird. It's the same project. It just has a new game, man. Yeah? Ben Schoon. Is this the guy everybody keeps saying is uh, pretty um, um, a downer? Has been Was the first look at Immersive Stream in last October 18 TMLs. We were quick to recognize the demo similarities to Google Stadia, and it was confirmed not long after that, indeed, the demo was using the same technology. AT&T has provided 95 with more details regarding the shutdown. It's not a shutdown, though. Firstly, the game was removed on June 15, 2022, and there was a banner on the page before access was removed. It's also noted that when Control launched in late May, Batman also became available to play on mobile devices and over 5G connections, which was not previously made clear. Our original post also flagged a blog post which said that AT&T had brought back Arkham Knight, which we understand as AT&T had removed the stream before later bringing it back. AT&T informs us that it's not the case. Our original co coverage follows. It's notable though that the game is simply no longer available in my, in any capacity since it was never released on Stadia itself. Yeah, man. <clears throat> I mean, I know he's, I know he's being clickbaity, but that's just bad juju, man. Bad juju, brother. Whoever you, whatever your name is, um, yeah. Don't. I hope your life isn't like that, where you just in constant negativity. <clears throat> 